Hey guys. Okay, let me just uh learn. I need to refresh my browser for some reason it's not showing. Okay, we should be good, I think. Hey Lone. I'm Metallic. I R U Enma S M A uh is a rugaru Gorik. hey guys uh if the engine is going to be able to be bought with platinum i think at some point um i'm not sure when okay so we're going to be uh getting started here we're going to be running the crisis with four devastators I'm uh, kind of wondering how this is actually going to go because I have to get within 200 meter range with this uh, kind of build. We have nuclear amplifiers on your last stand. Um, we have advanced repair. I guess I could switch it to quantum radar, but the thing is I won't have any healing then. So I don't know. It's kind of risky <laughs> going in. Maybe even phase ship might be better. Um, I'm going to use the, the showdown drone on here. The day was uh, going boring. Well, I guess you got something to watch now. Hi, Samad. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Mac. Okay, so we're going to be running the following. Um, yeah, and I just have to get... What does this pilot even do? Gained additional damage bonus. Okay, so we're going to have additional damage with that. Now, the trick is to try to get really, really close. Oh, man. I don't know how this is. I should have... Actually, do I even have... I should have maybe put two of these in my hangar. Sometimes when I showcase a certain build, then I try to run two. Okay, so my thinking here is we've got to get a beacon and then maybe spawn at a beacon so that we're kind of close. This is like the ultimate glass cannon. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, when I use my when I use my overpower ability, I believe it boosts at thirty percent. So, I mean, could you imagine? We already have four of these things. Then we have uh, what is it, fifteen percent or whatever from the pilot, thirty percent from the overpower ability. Then we have nuclear amps on here, and I think like master gunsmith. Hi, Supreme. Unstable conduit. I actually find that die a lot quicker with that. Um, I'm probably going to be using it more after the changes hit the live server. Um, but it's going to be more strictly like just uh, healing. Now we have a bit of like uh, damage with it. But you, you go down a lot faster though. Um, this might... This might be a good map. If I can maybe spawn around center area. I think that would be perfect. Provided they don't have, like, a lot of Lynx. <laughs> I think Lynx is going to be my worst enemy. Just because of the stealth. And the thing is, I don't want to run Quantum Raid on that thing either. Because if I run Quantum Raid, I'm not going to have a heal, right? This guy's going to be landing here soon. We're all just, like, hunting him down. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, I got the kill. Teamwork. Oh, shoot. These guys are going to get... Wait, we don't have anyone on this beacon here. Oh, that was close. He almost got it, too. Oh, no. He almost got it. Almost. Who's the Titans? But oh, I think it's going to be Minos, right? Yeah, everyone is telling me that it was going to be. I think they said it. Minos was going to be the next. They had uh, everyone vote for it. Uh. Like this raid, I'm not going to be uh, dropping in with that. 
<laughs> that crisis. I might have to sacrifice us here. Okay, we're gonna sacrifice. I'm gonna sacrifice this. Okay, last end has been triggered. Oh my gosh, I still have got like. Okay, maybe I can drop in now. Oh, I don't. I don't know if I want to. What is here though? Yeah, we got a kill. Almost died though. Oh, ooh. Hey, okay, well, this is interesting. Maybe I can go. This is like crisis versus crisis. I think this guy has a crisis here too. Had a crisis. <laughs> I didn't even use my full power mode. He's going to drop with a Titan, right? Let's go this way. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no. Yikes. Heal. Oh no, 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 no. He's got quantum radar. Oh man. No, heal. We need, we need someone to move here. Like a titan. Oh my gosh, his health. He's hitting me still though. Oh, good thing I got a last stand. I wanna I wanna catch this ether. But he's so far away, he's moving. Maybe this one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> good grief, that's an Indra! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill him. No! Uh. Wait, what's this guy in? He went into stealth. Oh my gosh, good grief. X, X. Oh, come on! Almost! <laughs> he didn't know I was right behind him. Well, he knew, but I don't think he knew what kind of build I had. The showdown goes nuts. Yeah, everyone tells me about that. They're like, why is your drone spinning like crazy? Uh-oh. He's going to land right here. There's another one. Wait, what was that? No! Ooh. I think I got him. Got him! Oh! What is this guy up to? Hi Josh! Dude, that thing did so much damage to that Indra. I'm surprised that Indra didn't turn around and start firing at me. I guess he was like really focused on that one player. But that's when you want to catch them like off guard, right? Hi, Peter. With the Ash Pilot. Oh yeah, that Scorpion builds deadly. Yeah, the Sonic Scorpion is really good. 
there's some builds where the sonic build like works really like the sonic weapons in general if you can get close enough it can do a ton of damage um the ravana it works really well too oh we got a mender no no one went for the gap uh oh We gotta just take this. <laughs> they can have that other beacon. We just gotta get some beacons here, that's all. Uh oh. Heal, 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 heal. Okay, he's down to his last stand. There we go. A lot of Mars. I think we should try to push the gap now. Or the the gap or the um the beach. Mmm they're smart. They put a Demeter there. Demeter is great at blocking like shots because of the absorber shield. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go for the Demeter if I can. Or you know what? Let's try to push this side. <laughs> that guy's still camping back there. <laughs> Keep him back. Oh jeez. Imagine if I were to get my... Um if I manage to get that crisis over here where there's so many players, this guy's gonna blind me. Oh my gosh, this guy just spawned in. Yes! He's going to give us the beacon. He used his, uh, his abilities. <laughs> oh, no, wait. There's someone else there. There's someone else. Wait, can we get the crisis there, though? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yikes! Behemoth versus crisis. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, no ways. He had phase shift. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this guy's going to kill me. No. Oh. Dude, that, that crisis really is like a one-hit wonder kind of thing. Like, if you don't... <laughs> oh, this guy's still alive. I'm gonna fire at the wall. Maybe the splash will kill him. There we go. I should have renamed it to, like, one-hit wonder. Because, like, if you get close enough and the, the enemy, they're not paying attention, that thing does so much damage. Jeez. Like, these weapons do as much damage as the, uh, the ice rockets. Uh-oh. I'm getting... Oh, man, I was getting pincered. Loki and the behemoth had a kid.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm just staying on this beacon here. Ooh, there's a lot of players there. Whoa, they had like five guys there. Uh, what is my team doing? We just gave up the gap. Holy jeez, there's a lot of players here. Um, I figured I'd just stay here. Maybe they'll stay here by the gap and they won't leave. And my team can attack their home beacon. Ooh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Whoa, I had 2,800. You see how much health I had? Oh, we got that player. What? How? I think my laser fired through the angler. Yikes. <laughs> Wait, I think I think I got it. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Wow, this guy's pushing me. Why he jump away, dude? You're in a Oh my gosh. He's in a luchador. He jumped away. He should have just stayed there. Have I seen the rust rocket nerf? I've heard about it, but I don't know if it's been nerfed yet. Um, I think it's only in the next update. So whatever you see on the test server may not necessarily happen. Um, until it happens on the live server, then we can talk about it. Uh, thank you so much, Maggi. Hello, Adrian. Hello, all. Happy Friday. Yeah, there's been cases where sometimes they have like these outrageous things we test on the test server and then when um you know when the update comes they scrap it or it's a very toned down version of like what you tested um i wouldn't read too much into test servers yeah test servers can be like all over the place you know like I don't know how to describe it. Sometimes you test something and they scrap it completely and you don't, you don't see it again. Um, so I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't read too much into, um, into test servers. Wait until it comes to a live server. Then if it's really bad, we can talk about it. What has been my favorite meta? I don't know if there's been a particular meta that I enjoyed. Oh, man. I just got totally smoked at center or uh, on the side. I was reading the chat and I wasn't paying attention to what was going on. That's the thing. You know, sometimes when I'm playing, I have to focus on the game. We still haven't got that lift. Well, we got their, their side, I guess. He was the guy that killed me. I'm just slowing him down so he doesn't get to my teammate. Oh my gosh! Whoa! That was kind of crazy. You know what? This build's kind of nuts too. I've been testing this out. Some have been asking me which should they like run when they get rid of the claw or their nether. This is a very good build. I'm going to have to like feature this in a video. This guy's getting me. He's got... He's dead. These are old weapons too, by the way. 
He's dead. What is meta nowadays? Um, Angler, Nether. Uh, you got Lynx. I think we're gonna see more Lynx. What's going on over here? Um, yeah, I I'm not dropping in with my um my Crisis yet because we don't have beacons and I need to drop in at a beacon. This guy's going to be dropping in over here with a Titan. I'm guessing, right? Oh, he didn't. I thought he'd be dropping in with a Titan or something. Um, hmm. Just trying to sit on this beacon now so that we hold this down. It's a pity it's a pity we didn't get this beacon over here could you imagine if i dropped that in next to that serious oh he's going to center man that guy's moving fast maybe he has like titan accelerator on there or i gotta move back this guy's going straight for this beacon i think he's gonna kill me too he's gonna blind me um get off my beacon no they're lasering me down this is why i was saying i need to drop in on a beacon but i'm dead because he's going to if he's got qr i'm dead this guy here the only way that I can recover my health now is if i do damage and i use my paladin but i still won't have a last stand uh Maybe if I go here, he's, he, does he have QR though? He might. He's moving this way. <laughs> I'm trying to get closer to the Sirius. No, 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 no. No! Let it get him. Yes! Oh, shoot. That was totally worth it. Yes, we got him too. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> that was totally worth it, guys. That was totally worth it. Man, did that guy go down fast, though? Uh oh. Yikes. Oh, man. It's me versus a whole squad now, or team? Yeah, this ain't gonna work. But that was still worth it. Uh... <laughs> I went right over him. Holy jeez, he was able to heal through, like, most of that, too. Must get closer. Oh man, I'm gonna get smoked. He has a uh, Indra behind him. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> my rook is menacing not menacing enough sorry i'm just reading the the chat i think you guys are asking um some are asking about the giveaways or something yeah the giveaway for the um the reaper has been chosen already Uh, do I ask for them or so being that I'm so I'm a featured channel right and I'm a lot one of the advantages of being a featured channel is um, you can do giveaways but I've been covering the game also for like the past nine years <laughs> so um, yeah I'm one of the one of the main channels that cover it um, so I have um, I have like giveaway privileges um, but what what typically happens is oh my gosh i'm not like paying attention these guys are focusing me down they're probably time dropping too because there's two of them that are just focusing me i might have to change my name again and put a longer delay um so anyways yeah getting back to your question about the giveaway so what happens is when i do the giveaways the winners are chosen randomly so i don't know who's gonna win um, I usually also have a thing where if you've won, um, you won't be able to win like the next giveaway. The next few giveaways. This way I give others a chance to win too. Um, and once I have the list of winners, I give it to Pixonic and then they reward. But it usually takes a couple of weeks though because um, they have to get someone to reward the prizes. What is going on on the home beacon there? We have a lot going on over here. Maybe if I drop in over here, I might be able to kill them with this. I have to get onto this beacon. I, I don't know where my teammates are. Man, I can't hit him. My teammates need to get onto this beacon. Now would be nice. They still didn't get onto that beacon. Wow. <laughs> yeah. If you're wondering why you lose games, that's the reason why. Yeah, let's see if we can try to... I'm actually going to focus on this guy here first. He's closest to our beacon. So if you can kill him... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get this. I don't have enough rockets and there's more than one player here um we have three beacons but still like they're doing a lot of damage Main thing is get this beacon back. We still haven't gotten it back. And there's another guy over there. Guys, you've got to get your beacon back. You can't sit back like that. Ugh. And now we're going to lose this side. Oh, jeez. I should have you know what i honestly should have just dropped in here on this side knowing that my teammates were gonna give this one up to you team fortress maybe i can lock this guy and then get this beacon this way and hopefully they don't ditch okay Ditch. Ditch.
Man, I can't do this all by myself. Yep. I'm gonna be in trouble here. Yep, I'm dead. Uh, do I play with Manny? No, I have played with him in the past though, but that was just like an exhibition game. It was just like one game. Girls, uh, heals great damage. You don't have the real one, but you got the Sheriff uh, Demeter. Sheriff Demeter is actually stronger than the regular one. You'll have 10%, I believe, more health. Um, I wouldn't use App Meter Pilot though, for me personally. Um, you'll find with App Meter, so you can heal great damage, but it's not really that much. Um, it was nerfed down. Initially, it was like 30%, I think, great damage, and now it's like, what, 10? Something like that. Um, the other one is better, the Jerry Fortune. What do I think of the Wangji with the Crisis? Um, I think it's going to be deadly. We'll see more of that when Yamantau map uh, comes to the game. Trying to hold this beacon down here. I'm hoping that my teammates um, are able to. There's no one around. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose this spot. I'm gonna lose this beacon here too. I'm trying my best to hold this down. Oh wait, wait, wait! We might get it. Maybe. We got it. Ooh. I took a lot of damage though. Whoa, what the? Dude, we're doing so much damage, it's not even registering. <laughs> well, that was weird. You guys see that? I hit him like multiple times and it didn't... Ah, uh, he's gonna kill me here. I'm just getting onto the beacon. If I can turn this white, it will be worth it. That way his buddies can't spawn in here. I just hope that my teammates get onto that beacon quickly. Uh, I don't think they did. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ramel. <laughs> you changed your name. I had to, I had to check for a second there. Yeah, just get onto the beacon. We have a couple there, so I'm gonna turn me back on. They actually have a uh i don't know if i can drop in over there that's a lot of players that is a lot of players i won't be able to hold it down against that many uh they have two um two rooks Oh, 
Oh shoot, there's another one coming here. Guys. Did I bounce him? Nope, I'm getting hit from behind. Yikes! There's just too many of them. I can't stop them. We can get this one. He's almost dead. Oh no! I can't heal. Their, their Typhon got me. Guys, I need your help. I can't do this all by myself. Where is everyone? I'm gonna die, but I'm, I'm holding down this beacon for as long as I can before I go down. Yeah, I'm gonna be dead. There's no ways. Trying to see if I can heal. Yep, I'm dead. Uh, once again, thank you, Ramil, for the membership gift. Much appreciated. Hey, Nora. Hangar X is truly forgotten. Uh, well, we use it in tournaments, but I haven't played in a tournament in a, quite a while. I thought he was going to go to the left side. Uh oh. I think there's a guy above me, right? There's someone above here. Oh, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> I just saw his his bot corpse. He's going to the right flank. Watch your uh, beacon, dude. Are you kidding? Trying to get rid of this guy here. We're gonna drop in with the um, the crisis soon.
Man, at this rate, I may not be dropping in with that. I might have to sacrifice this. Ooh, they got a luchador. Please jump this way. Yes, he's looking this way. Please jump this way. Please jump this way. <laughs> He's getting closer, guys. He's getting closer. Come on, come on. Where's he gonna move? Oh, no. Come on. He was right there. Close range to care. Um, have I tried... Um, have I tried the punches i've tried it but i actually like redeemers more hi pro hi altered beast call of duty mobile i thought there's a lot of cheaters in that game too <laughs> there's cheaters in all games <laughs> even the free ones that's why i don't believe when players say well they do it because i pay to win that's why they cheat <laughs> that's not the reason why they cheat maybe they, they've convinced themselves that's why the reason why they cheat but that's not yeah that's not the true reason how do i feel about the upcoming angler um i kind of was expecting it because it's already gone through two nerfs so i knew it was on their radar just by them nerfing it twice or nerfing it once for that matter um i was expecting the nether to get as well um and i can see the the links getting to oh, i'm not going to be able to move across here yeah, i'm trying to get to center but i think i'm going to get hit uh. get off my beacon This is actually kind of bad that I'm over here. Wait, can I go through here? Oh, no, no, no. He went into flight. Now I can't get to center. No, and he flew off the beacon. Now we can't get the beacon. Oh, jeez. This is like, this is really bad. For me to be out this way, yeah, I'm going to get killed. <laughs> we just killed the Scaras and that's going to be it, right? Maybe. I'm so going to die. I'm so going to die. I'm actually surprised. How did this guy see me? But he hadn't even used his quantum radar yet. Or was it just my imagination? Do you guys notice that? How did he... He didn't even use his quantum radar. Cheater in the offline. Oh, trust me. Cheater. There will be cheaters in that too. I'm gonna be dead i just cannot i just cannot catch a break every time i'm trying to get a beacon we lose it um this guy's gonna kill me we've lost the see how we've lost the farm too yep
that's why i say in this game i could give a max out hanger to most players and i would probably say maybe five ten percent of those players would actually know how to use the that equipment effectively it won't be as much as you think not many will know how to use like they would have it but they would still play the same way you know getting your beacons not defending Yep, I'm going to be dead. I just cannot get into center. We've lost our home too, up top. He had QR running. Um, I didn't see a QR in front, um, on the top of his bot. I saw it afterwards, but he was actually hitting me with rockets before the QR had activated. I saw it afterwards. I saw the QR afterwards, but when he was actually hitting me with his rust rockets, it hadn't activated yet. I'm not going to be able to hold this down against two. Let's see how many of my teammates actually help and how many are aware that we actually have this beacon being attacked. Let's see. I couldn't get through. I wanted to, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be dead. There's no ways. Yep, I'm dead. They don't know how to use the weapons. No, no, I'm just saying, like, so... In the games that I post this, whether it be on my baby account, on this account, you will notice that quite often when I post those games um, and I show the players hangers, they have close to maxed out, but yet they get all beacons, right? If they were very, um, if they're very experienced players, they wouldn't be doing that. That's the thing. That's the point I'm trying to make. So I could literally give a maxed out hanger to someone and uh or if i gave it to like 100 players i think only five or ten out of the hundred would actually know how to use it because there are kids not unlike me no not all of them you would think but not all of them hi shing Yeah, I couldn't, uh, my team's probably going to lose because I'm totally botted out. I was, I was killing my bots and uh, trying to hold down beacons, but I'm not sure where they were. We gave up our home beacon. I think we pushed the, the enemy platform, but it's no point pushing if they can spawn there. Um, the boss, how long have I been playing uh, War Robots? Nine years. Uh, actually over nine years now, I think. Yeah, I started in when? 2000 and yeah, it's about... 2014 i've been playing for a long time uh this is my battle recording account yeah i don't really play my main account anymore um and main account is not my baby account by the way i have a maxed out account i just don't play with my clan anymore because there's just a lot of cheaters in the game especially um in champion league someone actually reported that 60% of the Android clan players, they're cheating. This was a couple of months ago. It might even be 70% now. Um, but the latest report, you know, because I'm in another chat with Pixonic, and some of the players are saying that even iOS uh, players are cheating. There's some reports, some of the, uh, the Asian clans. Yeah, I tend to be a very competitive player, but, you know, when I play, I do it the legit way. <laughs> I, I don't cheat, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't play on my other account anymore. Just trying to focus down this guy here. 
Break your shield. Three years after. Yeah, I started when... So we only had two maps. We had Yamantau map and we had Springfield. Those were the only maps we had. Oh, there was someone here. Many cheaters now iOS. Actually, it's a lot harder to cheat on iOS because it's not open source like Android is. That's why there's so many cheaters in and on Android side. Um, but a lot of the clans that we were playing against um, that would post wins against us, a lot of them were cheating, I found out. And I was like, okay, well, that's it. I'm not playing anymore because that all they know how to do is cheat. They're not proving anything. Like, and then they say they're skilled. I'm like, skilled at what? Cheating? I'd be the only one playing if I... I think one of the worst things that they did in this game, amongst like many others, was to do cross-platform. I don't think they should have done cross-platform at all. Um, I think they should have kept like Android separate and iOS separate. Playing on Steam without the ads is suffering. Yeah, but you know what? That's not actually Pixonic's fault. Um, I'm not sure if you are familiar with like steam but they don't allow ads one of the uh, the things they said uh with steam is they don't allow ads because they felt like it didn't really add value to like the players that's why you don't see ads on steam it's not just war robots um it's like other games on that platform it's like yeah you'll be breaking in terms of uh of service This build's actually really strong. What do I think the future of um i think players are just going to use it for resources that's kind of what it's for so i think i think it's going to be around um i wouldn't be surprised if we see changes to matchmaking though like i can see matchmaking being a change A to win aren't as game ruining. Well, pay the ones that are technically what you call pay to win are the ones that support the game so that the free players have something to play. <laughs> um, you take them away, the game just gets naturally worse, which is, I think, what we're seeing right now. You're going to Canada? Um, whereabouts? I know West Coast is really nice. But I've never been West Coast. Because you have the Rockies and like Vancouver area. British Columbia.
what is my opinion on the rust rockets um i was kind of predicting that was going to happen as well because i was seeing a lot of players using it um they were using rust rockets on pretty much every build so like uh nether claw um the angler with the talon the talon and the claw <laughs> you were seeing it on most builds and when you see players running it like that then you know that's going to get a nerf players say it's because they see like the deals in the the store so it's going to get a nerf that's not the i wouldn't i would actually say that if you see most players using a certain bot or like weapon in like champion league that is what's going to get the nerf because that's usually an early indicator of what's overpowered otherwise they wouldn't be running it and spending their money on it right yeah i tried to get onto this beacon that obviously didn't work well i mean it did but i just got totally owned they have a lot of players there i wonder if i can get my crisis i mean that's i don't know there's a lot of players here though this is a bad idea i can really tell <laughs> Ooh, wait wait a minute He might drop in over here, though. Oh. Rockies is great for the view and camping. Yeah, if you go to Toronto, then probably the CN Tower. Actually, Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is a good one. Running hybrids. Uh oh. Uh oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was the wrong timing. What is the best battleship not including Paladin? I think it's going to depend on what you use your battleship for. If you're going to use it for healing, um, I would say North Light. Oh. Just before Niagara Falls. Yeah, I think Niagara Falls is a good one. Usually when we have like someone from south africa come like because my family's from south africa they usually want to go to niagara falls so uh, that's the next oh thanks for giving a membership yeah so i do have different perks for my channel um depending on which perk but mostly those that donate sometimes they give memberships um, and if you get a membership, then you have you have access to my VIP chat in Discord. So you can ask me questions over there. Um, but again, it depends on which membership you have as well. So there is one where I sometimes help players one-on-one one -on -one with the hangar and stuff. Uh, you know what? We can actually go for a center. I'm 
I'm gonna end up dying here. Yep, he's gonna maybe kill me. I'm trying to hit him. Oh no! <laughs> tornadoes. Wasn't there an area in the States that got hit by tornadoes recently? Canadian tourist guide. Well, I just know because like every time my family, like I have relatives that come over and they visit. It's just, it's usually like CN Tower, uh, Niagara Falls. <laughs> Opinion on Vajra or this? The Evora is going to be stronger. Um, yeah, I like the the reload of those weapons more. Fire rate too. Wait, we're going to get the home beacon, right? Oh, jeez, we got so much range. Uh, this is going to be a recipe for disaster. We're going to lose that right beacon, guaranteed. Gonna end up dying here. I don't have my ability now. Nope. What did I tell you? We lost that beacon because we had too much range. Look what. So here's the thing. You know, players always tell me. Well, the reason why they run support or range is because that's like they can play that style. And I keep telling them, well, if the enemy is aggressive, they're gonna make you want to play their way, not you dictate. Do you see what happened? So they're all. My team is all scrambling now. You can tell. They're looking all over trying to find a way out. Problem is, there is no way out because they're in your spawn at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to get rid of that guy. This guy's probably going to kill me too. I'm going to move this way. But we have a lot of stuff going on here. Oh my gosh, we killed two of them. Yeah, I'm going to be dead. How is this guy still in his ability mode? You see what happens? We can't get out of our spawn now. So, I mean, you can play your... You can play your support role, but how do you play your support role when they're in your spawn? You can't. He's gonna drop in over here, I think, right? Oh, he can't! His teammate didn't drop in. That was a mistake right there. I think... Oh, please don't get off that beacon. Okay, there we go. Why did I leave the game? Because I'm trying to get as much uh, footage of the crisis. It's no point me sitting around unless you guys just want to sit and watch others play. I assume you don't want to do that. That's why you come to my stream. If my team can't hold down beacons, then I definitely don't believe in them, though. Getting to your point. So, uh... Okay, so we lost this side. I think he might drop in. Well, actually, no, he can't. We got two players, you know. Five in spawn. Exactly.
I think we should push this left. Uh, Tarak, I can leave games if I've lost all my bots. It's okay to leave games if you've lost your bots. But I wouldn't leave it if you haven't lost your bots and that's your intention. Like, that's... You just... You know, you leave the game and you haven't... You haven't played all your bots, that's bad. They're hacking? Yeah. I'm not going to be able to get this uh, beacon here. We've got two titans on here. Maybe I'll go for the, the harpy. At least get rid of him. Yeah, we've... I've lost... If he moves forward... Yeah. He's going to chase me. So now my teammate can get the beacon behind him. There we go. What I can do is uh, once I die, is that Skyro still here? What I can do after I die is get into the Mugi and just keep flying above. Hopefully he doesn't have QR. Oh wait, I think he does. Yeah, he can see me. With bots still in your hangar. Yeah, it warns you if you have bots. I don't have any bots, so I can leave. It's fine. I was playing with two ultimate specters. Uh, I don't have any ultimate specters in my hangar, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. Ooh, I wonder if I can start with this first. The crisis. Kind of risky, but maybe I'll try. <laughs> Jeez, I already got the right side. Uh, we're going up against a squad too. Just walk through center. Shoot, this guy's right here. Oh, man. Okay, so we only have one beacon now. Um, I guess I'm going to push this side.
I'm trying to get another beacon for my team. Holy jeez. Yeah, this is what's going to happen now. I'm just trying to get another this you see this is why you must push beacons because if you don't if you don't do this what's going to end up happening is you have nowhere else to spawn you see the only place for my team to spawn right now is on home spawn if the other team is waiting there if they're waiting there with their titans guess what happens when you drop in you lose your entire hang up this is why you must push beacons it's like especially in champion league if you're not doing this now, you're doing something terribly wrong. Um, I'm not going to be able to use my heal here. Oh, they're bringing out all their titans. Yep. Okay, so look at where I have to spawn. You see this? This is why... It's game over at this point. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> Hi, Johnny. Let's see if we can try to... Try to get to that right side. Actually, you know what? I think they're going to push right. Usually, like, the strong players will either push this right beacon here or they'll go straight through center. Ah, see? This guy here, he's going to go to that side. Although we have two players there. This guy's going to be a problem. That's a Sky Rose. Oh no, my targeting messed up. Uh-oh. I'm dead. <laughs> hey, but at least we got the... At least we got the Sky Rose. Okay, so we have no one on this beacon. Notice how we have no one on this beacon other than me and the top right. The one in front. Watch how the game changes. Watch how the game changes now. Just watch. Hold on. It's it's gonna happen. Yeah, he got that guy got onto the beacon. I was gonna say we didn't have anyone on that side beacon. Trying to get that type on there. Ooh. This guy's down to his last stand. I think, yep, they're gonna drop. Oh! I tried to shoot the guy that just dropped in. This one here. But I think we got this beacon. Yeah, we got this beacon. I think this beacon's changing, right? How is this guy still got this beacon? He wasn't even flying here. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say. They're desperately trying to get rid of me. The thing is, the beacon's white. That's already bad news.
Just making sure I'm on this beacon here so he can't get it. He's going to drop in in front of me, I think. Hi, Ross. I think this guy crashed. He wasn't moving. Hi, Joe. to stop this Ravana from getting close to our uh, beacon here. Someone, oh, there's someone above me. I was wondering why the beacon wasn't changing. It's been a year since the Fujing. Uh, the Fujing really wasn't meta at all. Even when the Fujing came out, it wasn't really used much. I think so. I used the Fujing more just for videos, but it wasn't really very practical. Like, you would never see it being used in like high level play. Um, as much as players think. So the, the biggest counter to the Fujing when it came out was um, Magnums and Tyrants. And everyone was running, for the most part, they were running Plasma Griffins and Rhinos. So it just went down super fast. It, it, it had good, like, um, burst damage. But if you ran into a Rhino with, like, uh, Tyrants and Magnums, he would just put the shield up and keep firing at you until you did. And you wouldn't have been able to break his shield because it was so strong. Um, I think, yeah, at the, at the time, the Rhino had the strongest shield in the game. Uh, physical shield, that is. Oh, yeah, I'm using the ultimate Orkin on my Mars. Uh, so it does more damage, um, it has 50 meters more range, and the reload time is 7 seconds instead of 20. I think it's 20. The regular Orkin's 20. Yeah, so it's uh, a lot deadlier. Oh geez, this guy's already in center. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He saw the secret weapon. 
<laughs> I hit him a couple times. He just got out of there. We need a, this side. I need to get close enough to this player here. And let's pop him. Yes. Wait, what is that? A scorpion? I just saw the guy in stealth. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff coming this way, man. Uh-oh. I'm gonna be dead. Oh, man. I'm dead. <laughs> it really is a glass cannon, that build. Man, there's a lot of players on this uh, this right side here. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Yeah, he's down to his. Uh, no, not last stand. I need help here. He's backing away. Wait, we still haven't gotten this beacon? What's going on? Why is it not changing? Oh, there we go. thought that was kind of weird. Holy jeez, this guy's really moving fast, man. I think he might even kill me here. Holy, look how fast he's going. <laughs> I gotta keep moving. Oh, jeez. I think this guy thought that I was... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no, I can't. I can't, uh... I'm gonna die. Whoa! There's this guy dropped in! No! Holy shoot. <laughs> How many titans are here? Guys, drop in your titans. We're in trouble. Uh, oh my gosh. Look how many titans. Good grief. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, everyone just decided to drop in the titans. If I think it's safe to say we've lost that beacon. <laughs> They still haven't killed all the titans either. Oh, jeez. I can't get off this beacon, though. Yeah, I'm going to be dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Holy jeez. That, that was nuts. I've never seen... Okay, there's only one time I've ever seen so many titans in an area like that. When I scored the, the 20 million damage, that was when we had... I think we had, like... It was kind of like that, but it was constant. <laughs> that was nuts. We had so many players in that area. Titan party. <laughs> I couldn't even fire. Like, I'm actually surprised I survived as long as I did. <laughs> Titan town meeting. Ionix. Dude, that was so crazy. That was wild. We had so many titans here. I think there was like... <laughs> there must have been at least six titans in that area. We had... Uh, so they had two. I dropped in my titan. Then the luchador came. That's already four. Someone else dropped another titan in. I, I think there was about like five or six. For sure. 
<laughs> that was so crazy. Those are the best battles though. Even though I know some players don't like it, I like those just because it's funny. And you don't know who's really gonna win, right? Because like everyone just jumps in. It's like just a complete mess. Uh, he's gonna go in a flight. I think this Arachi should go to the bottom, maybe. Okay, we got we got this beacon. That's good. This guy's gonna be landing here soon. Just gonna try to help him out. Um. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the damage happened so fast too. No! No! Must stop! Onto the beacon quick. Ah, oh, shoot, he got it. No! Ah, uh, heck. Oh my gosh, we just chewed through that dude. I don't even know. What is this? No! Yes! And coming! Oh shoot! Uh oh, this is bad, this is bad. Oh no. Oh no, he got me! Can that kill him? That might be enough to kill him. My turret. <laughs> Jeez. I think he's gonna drop in over here though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Even if I go really close, it might mess up his aim. <laughs> you gotta try it try everything. And we got the beacon too. Oh, shoot. Yikes, guys, I need help. Mayday, mayday. Oh my gosh. That guy just got crushed. This one. Yes. Sending the pineapple this way. Mars is good in beacon games. Um, yeah, it can be. It depends on your build, though. Like everything else. Uh, do Prismas work on... on? It can work, but your... You don't want to have too much range, okay? Like in your hangar. If you already have like two or three bots, I wouldn't use that, that particular build. It works... You know what's actually really good is Redeemers. Oh, no. I thought I'd reloaded. Uh-oh. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I thought I had reloaded. For... For serious. What is that guy? That's a titan. I'm trying to push him this way. We 
wait a minute. How come he's not coming out of his ability? Look. He's stuck in his... Uh... What the? That player is stuck in his Indra... Like his ability. His face shift mode. Uh, We got someone abusing a cheat. Whether it's intent... He's... Is he still? Yeah, he's still in. Look. Get beacons quick. Get the beacon quick. End the game. So he can't abuse it more. Pineapple pizza. Mmm. But not many like that. Actually, you know what? I think the reason why is because most think, like, they just... We put cheese and then just pineapple on. But you gotta have, like, ham. Ham and bacon. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, well, that guy went down really fast. Is this guy still in his Indra? Dude, he's still in his Indra. And he can fire his weapons. Wow. Yeah, you're not cheating at all. <laughs> like I said, this game has a lot of cheaters now. That's one reason why I don't really play on my main account much. Because my main account, I would play with my clanmates. Um, but a lot of them have actually stopped playing because there's just too many cheaters in the game. Thank you, Ramil. A good pineapple counter is Elon Musk's favorite planet. Ham and bacon. Okay, so I think that's going to be um, it for the live stream. I'm trying to actually um, like do shorter live streams because I think when I have it too long, <laughs> no one wants to watch like a two hour live stream. Or actually, I should say two and a half hour. Usually, it's two and a half to three hours. You're currently eating Cheerios. Wait, Cheerios with chopsticks. Of red bell peppers. So, anyways, guys, that is it. Um, running the uh, crisis with the devastator. So this really is like it's, it's like a one shot like wonder thing, <laughs> you know. Like under the right conditions, yes, it can do a lot of damage. But you saw like in the games I played, most games you're gonna struggle with it. Now, it's not because I don't know how to play it. Um, it's just you have to drop it in next to the enemy. And the thing is, when you start firing, right? So when you start firing and you use your ability, you go out of that stealth. So if they catch you, that is when you're going to see how weak the crisis is. It's a very fragile bot. So you're going to be down to last 10 almost instantly if they catch you off guard. Uh, what do I think about the Nether Magnetar? It's very strong. Um, I would say with the, you know, the incoming nerf to like claw weapons, like the rust rockets. I would say I would I would go Magnetars, like I would actually go Magnetars over Spear. Uh, Rook getting a nerf? No, I don't think it's getting a nerf. Uh, but who knows? You never know these things. Thank you, Grandpa Dan. Pineapple and rice that... Yeah, spicy. Actually, um, the calamari with this... When you have calamari... I say calamari because like octopus, right? <laughs> Everyone's going to be like grossed out by this. But usually when you have like any kind of like chili... It actually... It's really good. The most annoying raven build? Uh, probably raven with lasers. Although, I think the lasers, aren't they going to get nerfed? 
I don't know. A lot of stuff is going to get nerfed. Uh, that can be really annoying. But I think just like <laughs> there's a lot of builds that can be annoying. Like even using the spear weapons can be really annoying for someone because every time the Raven, if you have the pilot, every time you jump, you go into stealth. You know how annoying that is? Like if you're in a Titan or something and you don't have quantum sensor or any kind of bot and they're just jumping around going into stealth and if they have the harpoon weapons, it's going through your shield too. So that can be really annoying. Th thank you, Grandpa J. Uh, when are the Titan pilots? I think the next update. I could be wrong. <laughs> We're talking about food. Yeah. Welcome to Adrian's uh, food channel. <laughs> We're switching over. Calamity Crisis, uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use a Calamity Crisis. So one of the things you would have to use, um, so you have Quantum Sensor, right? But the thing is, it takes a while, like a couple seconds for it to lock on and then fire. They should really make it a lot like faster, like instant. Um, because of that delay, you're not really making use or much use of the Quantum Radar when you activate it. You would need three skills. So you'd need Dodger so that you can get Quantum Radar frequently. You would need Modules Expert so that your Quantum Radar lasts longer. And you would need Guidance Operator so that you can lock onto players quicker. That's a lot of pilot skills just to use that. And if you change your weapons, then you have to change your pilot skills too, right? Because it's all, well, you have to change Guidance Operator. I don't know, it's just a very big investment into something that is i mean it can do a lot of damage if you can get it to work it's just like yeah that's a lot of investment into a build like i would rather put it into like um redeemers if i if i was given a choice i would rather do that I think Titan Pilots is going to be kind of interesting because I, I can kind of see like the Arthur becoming quite strong. It depends on like what kind of pilot skills. So I think some of the weaker um, Titans will get stronger. But then again, at the same time, like, you know, you're going to have like the Rook that's going to get even stronger. So I'm not sure how, how things are going to get balanced out. Sometimes you can't tell these things until they actually happen. And then like, you know, depending on the pilot skills, we might have a pilot skill for say like the mirror mitts, for example that might render the rook useless even if it did have you know all the best skills on it so it's really hard to tell so let's just say for example there was a pilot skill for like the mirror mitts. i mean this is being extreme here but let's just say there was one where the emp lasts like three times longer or something um even if you had a rook with the best pilot skills, adding durability and resistance and whatnot. If you have a Miramets where it like EMPs you <laughs> and it lasts, the effect lasts like two or three times longer, that is the end of Rook. You know what I mean? So I think it's going to depend on like what kind of pilot skills we have for the other bots or a Titans rather. Ham and bacon. Um, bacon is like, I don't know. It's it, it, for me, it's different. I know they have can, like Canadian bacon, but like when I saw it, I was like, wait, that's ham. <laughs> it, it, there, is, it, there is a difference. Isn't isn't bacon like just more than the? You can get smoked. I guess you can do the same thing with ham too. Ham tends to be thicker. Uh, nuclear crisis. Uh, ooh, I mean, I guess you could get it to somewhat work. I don't. I just don't like the bullet spread. But I would rather use that over, say, Avengers. So I guess it depends. The good thing about nucleons is that it doesn't have a reload. Uh, 
Uh, is the Sirius still good? Uh, the Sirius was never good. They, um, they haven't even buffed it. Wait, are they going to be buffing it? Canadian bacon is ham. Bacon and maple syrup. <laughs> We're talking about bacon now. Bacon is pork belly and yeah, there, there is a difference. We went, we went from talking about the crisis devastated to, to bake it to a discussion about bacon versus ham. Yeah, I, I, I'm not like a butcher, so I don't know the, all the different cuts. <laughs> I just, I just eat it. <laughs> if it's good, I eat it. Yeah, I, I can see the Sirius getting a buff. I mean, it's... When the Sirius came out, I was using it, I was like, Whoa, man, this Titan goes on so fast. I'm like, I'm probably playing it wrong. So I like kept my distance and then like I would have like Enders charging me, I'd have like Minos charging me, Luchadors, and it was just dying so fast. I'm like, okay, I'm pretty much convinced now that this thing is not that good. If you spawn it in, you gotta hide like way back. I mean, you can do a lot of damage with the Sonic build if under the right conditions again, but you don't want to get too close because if like a Luchador gets to you. You're pretty much done for. Bacon with marshmallow. Yeah, okay, I haven't tried that before. <laughs> the stream chat. Uh, the fastest way to get a crisis probably enter a giveaway crisis giveaway but i already did a crisis giveaway on my channel uh we did a reaper giveaway recently which um those winners were announced and wait we have when is the next update coming so in 10 days okay i have to remember that because i wanted to do a recording thing for my my baby account that's probably going to be like this coming week i think but i don't have that many coins for it like I have like four coins or whatever because I don't I don't do like the leaderboards and stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to be coming up uh, probably this week. Um, so in 10 days, we should be getting new content, which also means I will be doing a giveaway. So usually I do like a giveaway with the newer content and then depending on what I'm allowed to give away, I might do another giveaway after that so yeah big giveaway coming up in a couple of weeks <laughs> thank you load bacon has its own food group hey did you guys ever watch that one what was that one where that guy would always do like these extreme like foods i think it was canadian too but he put bacon on everything I can't remember the channel now. I used to watch a long time ago, but then I think he stopped posting videos or something. He's like, bacon, bacon, bacon. We put bacon on everything. You know which one I'm talking about, right? You know that he had a YouTube channel? I think he was Canadian too. <laughs> but then he would put like how many calories? I'm like, jeez. May not be able to wake up the next morning. Thanks, Joker. <laughs> Just saying facts. Okay, so wait, do we have a um do we have a test server tomorrow? Is Punisher MK3 OP? Probably not. Most, most say something like if they see MK3, they're like, oh, it's overpowered. But you know what? It's not, not everything. 
Um, the reload on punishes is, is what's going to kill you. I think the damage output might be kind of decent, but I think the reload is what is going to kill you. Okay, wait, hold on a second. I'm looking to see. I don't see any news yet on a test server. There might be a there might be a test server. Depends. If there's something new, then I might cover it in tomorrow's like video. Otherwise, there may not be something for tomorrow. But on Sunday, I will definitely um live stream man vs food was the tv show no 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 it wasn't that this guy i can't remember what was his channel now this was like a good couple years ago he would do the this this crazy stuff oh my gosh now you guys are gonna have me like look this up i haven't oh i think i know is it epic meal time Is that the sh um that's his channel yeah it is yeah it is it was epic meal time wait does he even post still oh he doesn't get views like before no wait what <laughs> his content has changed you had to take a break you probably ate too much powered by bacon Thank you, uh, Mag. Thank you, Mag Magna Melo. I'm just gonna call you Mag for short, but thank you so much for your donation. Much appreciated. <laughs> hair remover. Hey, maybe they're promoting hair removal or whatever. Okay, so anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for the stream before I get going. Thank you very much to Dark Warrior, Lone, Smiley, Togi, Dominic, Kai, and Jack Goose, and Frederick for helping to moderate today's live stream chat. Much appreciated. If they have YouTube channels, make sure to check them out as well. Thank you so much to Maji, to Ramil, uh, Lone, and Mag. So thank you so much for your memberships, for your membership gifts, for your donations much appreciated if they have youtube channels i know maggie has a youtube channel but she covers uh fortnite so um yeah for those of you who don't know i do play fortnite like a lot i have another channel uh zoopy loop i think nightbot might have posted it in the the chat but i usually live stream that so that's the other game i'm covering um and loop were nice people <laughs> i wonder how Stu's doing i haven't seen him in ages um, but yeah, I'm not sure if there's going to be a test server tomorrow. If there is and there's something new, like, you know, that's worth covering, then I will cover it. Uh, if not, I will be streaming on Sunday. Thank you, Grandpa Jay. Thank you so much for your donation. Much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll probably catch you on... Well, I'll catch you either on Sunday or tomorrow. And there we go. Nightbot has just posted my... That's my Fortnite channel, guys. And I usually stream... Um, well... It depends on which day too, but most times I'm streaming like between 6 p.m. and like midnight. <laughs> My streams are pretty long, but they're fun. They're fun. Okay, so I think that should be it. And yeah, if this is the first time you happen to drop by my YouTube channel, my live stream, I hope you enjoyed today's live stream featuring the crisis with the devastator weapons. Um, if you enjoyed the live stream, make sure to leave a thumbs up and... I think with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next live stream, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers, guys.